We're now going to zoom in to this structure right here where the alveoli are and look at the layers surrounding the heart. So don't be scared. Here we are zoomed in to this right here. Here are these alveoli, individual alveoli where diffusion occurs, alveolar ducts. Um, are these ducts that enter the alveoli? We've got blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, smooth muscle here um, surrounding those bronchioles. And then we've also got some layers surrounding the entire lung here. These are called pleura. And the layers are gonna be familiar from what you know about um, layers like pericardium, but here we've got the pleura. So here, the internal layer close to the organ is the visceral pleura. Then on the outside, we've got, guess what? The parietal pleura. In between there, there's a space. That space is gonna have some fluid, pleural fluid. Isn't that convenient? Here is another image of this. Thoracic cavity is where we are. Um, you can see here how the heart takes up some space of that left side. So um, the left lung is only gonna have two lobes because of the heart. Notice this image is looking from down up. Um, so this is looking from the feet up. So this is the left side over here, two lobes. The heart is more on the left side of the body. Um, right lung has three lobes. So let's draw again, zooming in to these layers right here. We've, I'm gonna to try to do this color coded as well. We've got surrounding the lung itself. Here's the lung. Here's gonna be the visceral pleural, pleura. Then we are gonna have a space that pleural cavity with fluid in it before we get to the parietal pleura. Outside of that, there's going to be um, like rib muscles, um, adipose tissue, and skin. superficial to that. So this is a zoom in right here of the, the sections of the lung right here. These pleura are actually going to be very important. The pleural cavity, this space that contains pleural fluid is going to be very important for um, lubrication and preventing friction during breathing. The surface tension that's created by these two layers are going to allow the lungs to stay inflated um, and, and not collapse. So we'll use this, um, these layers when we talk about ventilation. <laughs> 